no, I can't do that. I honestly can't do that. I, I you know, my, you know, I, I like Bob Marley. I like Rufus Wainwright, Bob Dylan. Um, oh man, the list just goes on and on. Lennon's up there. Um, Prince is up there. I don't. I can't do that. I can't do the greatest writer of all time. Um, Nick Cave. Yeah, he's here tonight and uh, up for the uh, best album award, which he just thoroughly deserves to win. Yeah, it would probably be Ray Davis. I think. I know a lot of people give you the same answer. Um, well, because, um, well, for a start, his songs still sound good 30, 40 years later. There's a certain kind of um, resonance if you come from the UK. You know, it feels like like this country we live in, this little, you know, he's singing songs from this quirky little island that we live in, which takes some doing. And, um, and, it, and, um, and they're so well sung and... Um, you know, I think he, he's taken on that mantle, really, for songwriters as, as how to carry yourself and how to be very good at, at your art, I guess. Oh, please, come on. In my opinion, um, it's a cross between Prokofiev, John Coltrane. Um, do, do you mean lyricist or you mean just songs in general, music in general? Um, all right, some people call songs only songs that have lyrics. I call all music songs that have discernible melodies. So my personal favorites are classical and jazz composers, but I also like James Brown. I mean, I think he's like the most prolific lyricist. Paul Simon's a great friend of mine and an amazing lyricist. And I don't stink. I mean, I'm okay, you know. I always really wish I'd written Secret Smile by Semisonic. I don't know why I say that. I think like if you could play that to, you, to your girlfriend, I think they'd be very happy about that. So. Actually, I wish I'd written uh, Love Me Again, John Newman. That is Good pretty yeah. Yeah. I wish I'd written Human Nature by Michael Jackson. Why? I don't know. It's a song that I don't seem to get bored of. Well, there's, there's plenty, but I'd say there's a Give Me Danger by Iggy and the Stooges off the Raw Power album was always a favourite of mine. That was a song that got me into them in the first place, and uh, I, you know, it's it's not a million miles away from the way I play guitar anyway. So it was sort of, in, in musically anyway, it's kind of within my grasp, but has, it still has some real magic in it. Oh, it's the Friday Friday night at Reading and Leeds. Yeah, Friday yeah. night at Reading and Leeds. That's, What's happening Friday night at Reading and Leeds? It's the uh, unveiling of the new side of our band. I think. Oh, you have to wait and see. Uh, you have to wait and see. Uh, just think, amazing. just think so Hollywood. So I just, just think Hollywood. Hollywood, that's all I'm going to say. Music events this summer. It's, it's hard to, we're not doing any festivals this summer, so we haven't no, really noticed what's going on. We're, we're writing, writing our album. We could go to, we could go to Glastonbury and see Metallica. I mean, that would be an event of sorts. Oh, it's going to be Metallica at Glastonbury. Everybody knows that. Why so? Because it's going to be funny. Funny hair? <laughs> uh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Are you a Metallica fan? Yeah. Do you think they deserve to be on the Glastonbury Bell? Why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, they're not necessarily a, a, a Glastonbury, obvious Glastonbury act, but then neither was Jay-Z and, you know, it's yeah, got to keep I think, moving. I think it's good that there's diversity and then it, it causes these discussions. So I think for that reason, it's pretty good to happen. When it comes to my songwriting, I am the worst songwriter in the world. However, I'm a pretty damn good song rewriter. My first ideas are always absurd. So if I tried to tell somebody, um, uh, a songwriting trick, probably the most beneficial one would, would be the first thing you wrote stank. Now, I might be wrong, maybe other people are brilliant the first time around, but every time I write something, well, my songs are all non-fiction, believe it or not. Non-fiction with fictional elements. So I write something and I think it's amazing and I go back the next day and I look at it and I go, I really thought this was good. So um, I'm a terrible writer, but I'm a pretty good rewriter. A, a songwriting trick, yeah, just get in a room and turn up very loud, and um, and, and uh, make sure the drummer's not had too much to drink. <laughs> Talent borrows, genius steals. Yeah, yeah. Steal, steal, steal. <laughs>